Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today. It's our delight every day to be able to minister to you, share God's word, meditate, reflect, think, learn, and grow together. This week we've been talking about the potter and the clay based on Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 through 6, and also parallel scriptures in the New Testament that teaches us that we are earthen vessels that God is seeking to make us vessels of honor, fit for his use, fit for the master's use. So we are reflecting on the fact that God is the potter, we are the clay, God is at work. And today I want to focus in on the potter's process. You see, as God works on the lump of clay, there is a process through which the lump of clay goes through before it can become that finished product, that finished vessel. We touched upon a bit of that process yesterday as we saw the lump of clay on the potter's wheel. And the wheel rotates at various speeds and the potter begins to shape it. He adds moisture and water, water to the lump of clay and, and he's shaping it. But then there are additional things the potter does as he works with this lump of clay. There are times when he uses different uh, instruments to start designing the clay. He could use instruments to draw, bring about some markings on the inside of the clay or on the outside of it. And then he could work on the clay to dry it, to harden it. Sometimes he may even place it in an oven to bake the clay, to heat it, to subject it to certain levels of temperature, depending on the clay and what he's trying to accomplish. Harden it. Thereafter, he may bring color, add painting, and you know, make it look good. So there's a process involved. There's a processing that the potter takes the clay through which means there are various stages of phases in which the potter is taking or working on this clay, taking it always towards that finished product, that vision, what he had envisioned that lump of clay to become. And so also God works in our lives, taking us through various stages or phases our seasons of life as he works on us. And in each of these stages, he is accomplishing something very specific. There is a stage where he is giving shape to us. There is a stage in which he is drawing certain markings, those characteristics on us. There is a stage in which he uh, uh, you know, he strengthens us. Maybe he's subjecting us to a certain hardening process, but it's all for our good. There's a stage in which he brings these beautiful colors put upon us, and it's all for our good, taking us towards that finished product. And it's for us to recognize each stage, work with him, cooperate with him in each and every stage he takes us through. Make the right transitions from stage to stage. Celebrate what he is doing in us at each stage. Enjoy it and give thanks to him for it. Remember, the part of works on your life through various stages or phases. Understand what he is doing. Work with him. Cooperate with him. Because ultimately, he's taking you and me to that finished product. He knows how to, how to get us there. Sometimes the stages may seem hard, but he's taking us too the finished product. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Help us to understand each stage, each phase that you take us through as you work on us day by day. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.